on this midday Saturday volume of our coverage. We'll see the Pittsburgh Pirates as they play against the Chicago Cubs at your home for the MLB 2K Sports. Time to grab your seat. Wrigley Field filling up with devoted fans. We got to see the Chicago Cubs playing before yet another. And is there any other here? Eager crowd. I'm Gary Thorne. Steve Phillips, Sean Crock with me. Major League Baseball 2K Sports. Starting pitcher for the Cubs. Here he is. Nicknamed Three Finger because he lost part of his index finger in a farm machinery accident. Mordecai Brown was one of the best pitchers of the 1900s, winning 239 career games. Steve, as he takes a look at this Pittsburgh lineup today, what do you think he's thinking? This lineup should not be much of a problem for this righty on the mound today. He has some of the best stuff in the game, one of the elite pitchers. He should be able to go through them easily and retire out. We've got a chance now to see that lineup for the Pirates. That's a prodigious lineup right here. Names that everybody recognizes. A lot of threats in this lineup and no breaks for the opposing pitcher. Clark is batting. Yesterday, the Cubs picked up the win. So after taking game one of three, they'll try and play for the win here against Pittsburgh. Well, how have they won five games in a row? It's really very simple. Great starting pitching, timely hitting, and catching the ball when it's hit to them. Here it comes. One and oh, one. and he lays off the fastball. Good pitch, one and one. And when you're going good, it all sounds so easy, doesn't it, John? Well, it sounds easy, and they make it look so easy. They've got all the pieces to continue this run. He watches the 1-1 one -one pitch, takes a fastball, strike two. Looks like the hitter's waiting for a pitch that he can get up in the zone to drive a little bit. That's why he went down to the zone with that four-seamer. Popped way up there behind home plate. That one's taken care of. Here's how the Cubs stack up defensively. Make sure to catch this one next Tuesday. It'll be Paul Canerco and the Chicago White Sox as they head into Kansas City to take on the Royals. That one's set for an 8 o'clock start. Base is empty with one away. Watches a fastball that's in there. 0 and 1. Unless you stay back and really think about going the other way, you've got no chance of hitting that four seamer down and away. Here's the pitch. 0 1. Fastball and a called strike. On the ground to first, Anson. And he steps on first. That's the second out. Stargell into the batter's box. Two out, space is empty. Pitch on the way. Ball. Just missed with the fastball. 1 0. Hoping to try to continue some momentum off of his last game when he picked up three base hits. See if he can't keep it going. Here's the 1 0. Changeup waved at and missed. 1 and 1. That changeup away is one of the most effective pitches because when the hitter's fooled, he starts to pull off the ball. He can only hit an inside pitch. He can't possibly reach the outside pitch unless he breaks down his swing. Good time to call for that changeup. One and two. Well, just an unbelievably poor swing against that changeup right there. No wonder he missed it. Taps this one foul off to the left. Change up tough to lay off, but it's two and two.
The 2-2. 2-2 oh. two -two is a changeup that misses. 3-2. and two. Uh, The pitcher right there got lucky that that ball stayed down in the zone. If that's up just a little bit higher, that ball could have been a souvenir. He sends this one in the air towards center. Wilson will field. That's Cox. Side is retired. It's the kind of inning the defense likes. Three up, three down. And the Cubs, their first chance coming up. Here's a glance at Pittsburgh's starter. Wilbur Cooper won 202 games in 13 years with the Pirates, pitching with grace and control. To this day, he remains one of the greatest southpaws in franchise history. As he gets going against these Cub hitters, what's in store? Well, we got a lefty on the mound in this one with some of the best stuff in the league among the elite left-handers in the game. I guess the, a lineup they can certainly put runs up on the board, but you have to believe if the lefty can get the job done, he should put some zeros up. one -oh on the way. Strike Trying to get down the bunt right there, but he missed it for a strike. One one pitch. Good looking fastball. Called the ball though. Two and one. Here's a strike. Lunged for that bunt and missed it. And that misses the outside corner to run it full three and two. Here's the payoff pitch. Fastball swung out and missed. Struck him out one away. With two strikes, the hitter run at the fastball. He got it, but didn't do anything with it. Now we'll take a look at the Cubs offense. Well, some kind of offense right here. Star-studded lineup and really great length and depth with guys that really can put the ball in play. Nobody on base. One away. That one's going to be outside. Ball one. Well, that right there is a really good pitch. Just missing the outside corner. Give the batter a lot of credit, though. That is one of the toughest pitches to lay off of. That hard fastball away. The 1-0 pitch. Fastball misses badly. He's behind 2-0. Now the 2-0 pitch, lined right at the second baseman. Throw to first, gets him in there at two down. Now we'll take a quick look at the Pirates and how they're positioned on the field. Well, one of the areas this team really wants to try to make improvement is you take a look, ranked last in their division defensively, and they're going to have to tighten things up a little bit to try to improve this area of their team. A chance here to check out how the Cubs ranked in the National League last year. Third in doubles, sixth in hits, they were in the top 10 in team batting average, an offense that made a lot of contact and got a lot of base hits. Base is empty and two down. He deals. This is in the air, straight away left. And that's going to do it in this half inning. No runs, no hits, nobody crossed the plate in this half inning, and nobody left on base. Both teams still looking for their first run in Chicago. Clement up at the plate. He'll start it off here in the second. Pitcher gets a little help right there. A dirt pitch for a swinging strike.
Looks at a fastball in there, and it's quickly 0-2. Sometimes when the pitch comes out of the pitcher's hand, you have to say to yourself, I'm going to lay off and wait for the next one. He didn't think he could catch up to it. Good decision. Fastball is a waste pitch that time, one and two. Well, hitters know those two seam fastballs down on the way turn into ground ball out. So they lay off of it, but with two strikes, it's a pitch you have to swing at. Swung on and fouled away. A shot up the middle. Sandberg. And he throws on to first for the out. Put away. A look at the early season schedule for the Cubs. Wrapping up tomorrow, this series with Pittsburgh. They'll stay right there for the next set of games. The Arizona Diamondbacks. That's a three-game series. And they'll travel to deal with Prince Fielder as the travel schedule has them up against the Brew Crew. Great series there. So, some challenges in store for sure. One out, base is empty. Ball! Off the plate with a fastball, and it's 1 0. The 1 0 now. And he looks at a changeup in there, one and one. A very effective pitch. The changeup painting the outside corner. Now you can go back hard in or go soft away again. One one on the way. Strike Good two. spot for the changeup that time. One and two. Here's the pitch. You're out. Change up called strike three. That's the second out. Well, this thing just about stops as it gets to home plate. The hitter could have reloaded a couple times if he decided to swing. Instead, he just wanted to watch it go by. And a brief look here at the Pirates and how they ranked in the National League last season. Tenth in doubles. Tenth in stolen bases. And the triples numbers, well, they weren't quite what the numbers you'd, you'd want for a team. And, it really shows the fact they didn't have the kind of speed necessary to take that extra base. Two outs and nobody on. Ball Yo, up. a little low. Got it in the dirt, but he held on. Ball Fastball two. just misses, and he falls behind 2-0. Well, that's the pitch you want for the ground ball out. That two-seam fastball at the bottom of the strike zone. Just couldn't quite catch the plate. Good eye by the hitter. And here's a fastball for a called strike. Two and one. He's just popping that glove with that four-seam fastball. Pounding the strike zone. Here's the two-one up the middle. That one's through. First hit of this ball game. Well, even though there's two outs, you never want to think you're out of an inning. And this guy came up there and hit this ball hard somewhere. He gets on base with that solid hit, and who knows what can happen after that. Two outs and a man on first. The pitch. Fastball is high, 1-0. At the belt, the 1 0. Inside with the fastball, 2 0. Right he pours one in there, and it's 2 and 1. That's a great pitch right here. Pounding the strike zone, going up and away. A pitch he could catch up with. Come set. 2-1 pitch. And he watches the fastball go by for strike two. 
I don't think he likes that call, but when you're diving out over the plate, sometimes that fastball up and in doesn't look like a strike even when it is. Oh, he's trying to steal second. Ball three. And his throw, he is out. Great throw. No runs, one hit, and no one left on base. Both teams still looking for their first run in Chicago. Glad you're with us this afternoon. Some fans bundled up in their jackets. A little chilly. Liner between first and second. And out number one as he steps on the base. On tap for the Pirates. They'll wrap up this series with the Cubs tomorrow. Following that, it'll be a road series to play the Cardinals and the guy you can't get out, Albert Pools. That'll be Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. After that, they'll be playing host to the Rockies and the veteran bat, Todd Helton. Probably won't lose too much sleep preparing for this stretch of games. And we've got Sandberg batting. One out, nobody on. Fastball just misses. 1-0. Oh. While well, you watch how the hitter reacted to that, he had thoughts about chasing that pitch, but at the last second decided to lay off of it. And here's the pitch. 1-0 oh, oh is a fastball that runs away. 2-0. Oh. Fastball misses badly. He's in danger of losing him. After another ball right there, the batter's at the full advantage. 3-0 count. I'm turning him loose right here. And that one is going to be outside. And that is ball four. And now you've got a base stealer on. Off the plate outside. He's missed on four straight. He's got to bring it back in the zone. Now their rookie catcher at the plate. Runner at first with one down. Pitch out. Nothing was on though. Ready with a 1-0. Gets that call at the knees, evens the count at one apiece. Better to go after the fastball when a guy has quality secondary pitches. Even though it's down to the zone, you've got to swing at that. 1-1 one, one delivery, a fastball taken for a strike, one and two. The 1-2 one, on its way. Here's a swing and a line drive. That's one, but he'll hang on to that, so they will get one. And it's Billy Williams. Two outs and a man on first. And they pitch out. Uh, nobody's moving. Here's the 1 0. Strike one. That one's drilled to short. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. So they can't push any across here in this half of the inning. And we are without a run here at Wrigley Field. We got the bottom three in the lineup due up. Number seven man at the plate. He'll start things off here in the third inning. 
And here's the delivery. Ball. First pitch fastball misses badly that time. 1-0. Ball swung on, miss. Now one on one. Here's the one one. Swing and a miss on that fastball, and it's one and two. and grounds this one foul wide a third. Swing and a miss. That's a changeup. Down on strikes one up. Now Gary, he delivers a changeup on this one. Well, two strikes, you have to try to fight off this pitch. You have to think away and adjust in. They went away, but he couldn't make contact. Trainer up now. Base is empty, one out. Strike Watches one. that fastball that goes by him for a strike. Now that he's elevated his eyes looking for that high fastball, let's see if he goes back down in the zone. Hit in the air to center field. And Wilson brings that one in. Two away. And Kendall's in the box. Matchup, 282 lifetime against the Cubs. Base is empty with two outs. First pitch inside with a fastball, ball one. Well, he starts that two-seam fastball in the inside corner, but it just runs in on the hands just off the plate. The 1-0 pitch. He lets the 1-0 pitch go by, 1-1. He looked like he was looking for a pitch out over the plate. That fastball down and in locked him up a little bit. He delivers. Fastball gets away from him there. Two and one. Now the two one pitch. Two and two. Ooh, he paints the corner with that one. Two and two now. This is the go to pitch for many pitchers in the major league. The fastball down and away. When in doubt, that's where you go. Now the 2-2. Two -two. Tough pitch to lay off that time. Full count, 3-2. When you throw a two-seam fastball, you want a ground ball, which means you want to throw it to the bottom of the zone. This pitch up could come back to cost him later in the game. The 3-2 pitch. He sends this one in the air towards center. That one falls in there for a base hit. Boy, well, after two outs, they finally got a man on board right here in this inning. So let's see if they can get back-to-back -back hits going and maybe get some momentum. Clark is the batter. Popped out. Foul ground last time around. A runner on first with two outs. He's running towards second. Ball one. And he is out trying to take second. So no runs on one hit and nobody left on. Both teams still looking for their first run in Chicago. It's going to be Banks. He'll start things off for the home team. We're in the third. Fastball misses away. 1-0. Well, you see, he just missed with that fastball right there away. Let's see if they try to come back inside to try to jam him.
Now the 1 0 pitch. And he watches this one right down the middle, 1 and 1. Well, the hitter's got to regret that one. He missed his pitch right down the heart of the plate. Four seam fastball. That hurts. Now Kendall spots the pitch. Change up. He bounced that one for the catcher. Here's the 2 1 pitch. Fastball on the black. He doesn't get the call, though, and it's 3 and 1. Well, this is your dream when you're in the on deck circle before you go into the batter's box. If you can get the count to 3 and 1 and in your favor, you know you have the upper hand. He lets that fastball go by. Call strike 3 and 2. Some guys really like the low fastball. In this situation, though, he ends up taking the pitch. Payoff pitch coming. Oh, and boy. that puts the leadoff man on, ball four. That's not how we want to start this inning, Gary. He's going to be pitching a world of trouble if he can't find his control. Well, the hardest thing to do when you have an at-bat that lasts this long is sometimes you have a tendency to be impatient and chase one. Give the hitter a lot of credit. It was a close pitch, but he laid off of it to earn that walk. And Santos is batting. Now, Gary, you don't want to do this in this kind of a situation. And put a walk on base with a guy who's the go-ahead run in the game. That's a mistake. Too low on that one for a ball, 1-0. And what he's done here in this situation with the walk coming where it did, Steve, is, is really give the offense a lot of options. Well, as a pitcher, you can't try to miss bats. Go at them, throw strikes, make them put it in play, let the defense work. And here's the delivery. Line towards second. And that gets through for a base hit. The Cubs in a nice position to capitalize. Well, the first thing you have to do if you want to score runs is get a base hit. They finally got that hit. Now let's see if they can bring him around. Hanson in the box now. And you got to love the young talent in his rookie year. Runners out the corners with no one out. And the first pitch. Off the plate with a fastball, and it's 1-0. Pauses, and now the 1-0. And that's off the plate, away, ball two. The 2-0 pitch, a fastball, taken for a strike. Here's the 2-1. And he misses down and away. Three and one now. Three Called two. strike on the outside corner. Full three and two. The three two pitch. And he pops it up. Foul territory behind third. Had a look at that one, but can't come up with it. And here's the 3-2. Big swing and a miss on a heater. Strike him out, one down. Well, he gets the first out of the inning right there. Now let's see if he can continue to bear down and work his way out of this jam and keep the score tied. Chance is up now. Grounded out last time. Two men on, one out. First pitch, here it comes. He swings on that 0-0 delivery, misses the fastball. Strike one. Missed with the fastball outside, and it's even at one.
And the change up one and two now. What an outstanding pitch. Changing speeds, hitting your spots. Throw that change up away. Here's the pitch. The one two is a fastball inside, two and two. Well, you saw the catcher right there setting up inside, and the pitcher just missed off the plate. Still a pretty good pitch, though. Three and change two. up misses, full, three and two. Well, that's where you look for a change up from the pitcher away in the strike zone. If they look for it and get it, they can really shoot that thing the other way and do some damage. And that misses. Ball four. He has loaded him up. Well, after a long, epic battle, this at bat ends in a walk. Are you kidding me? Someone should have got struck out or someone should have got a hit. But the hitter will take the walk. Bases are loaded here with only one away. First pitch on the way. First pitch, a changeup outside, 1-0. Oh. Now, Gary, we just saw the second walk in this inning, and you really have to start to question, is he nibbling, trying to avoid contact, or is he losing control? Here's the 1-0. Oh. A swing and a drive, deep into left field. Back to the wall. Goodbye, ladies and gentlemen, the Grand Salami. And you talk about jumping out big while well, they got the Ducks lined up. Wham, four runs on the board. A 4-0 game. What an inning. You can't do more damage on one swing of the bat than that. Take a look at our win expectancy graph after the grand slam. Now you talk about big hitting. How about grand salami? No little ball and that kind of a cut. And what a lead. Boy, he drove that one. Now Pittsburgh's pitching has just let them down. And you know what? If you're going to give up this much, you can't find this kind of run support to protect you. One out, nobody on. Here's Wilson's first look. First pitch, and he misses the fastball, strike one. Steve, we see all the elements of what we talk about. Staying in a ball game, don't give up at bats, get guys on, then one swing, yikes. Now, pow, one swing of the bat, four runs, and look at that, you're right back in it. Strike Lays two. off that fastball, and it's 0-2. Oh well, third inning of this ball game, Gary, clearly he's run into a little bit of a brick wall, and... Up over 20 pitches right here. That's a foul ball. Foul. Ball. Blowing inside with that one, a one-two count. Well, they threw that pitch right there, down and in, just off the plate. Let's see if they come back with another fastball down and away. Swing and a miss on the fastball, second out in the inning. You've got to have better plate discipline than that. With two strikes, you need to be defensive and try to make contact. But when you get a fastball, you need to read whether it's a strike or not. We've got Sandberg batting, locked in his last plate appearance. Two out, space is empty. Towards the middle, Wagner throws to first side, is retired. Good early offense here in the third. They'll try to hold on to that. Chicago is out on top, four to nothing. We've got the top of the order coming up.
Clark in the box. Here's the first pitch. And it goes foul. Foul! Pitch on the way. And he fouls off another one. Foul! Oh. And he lays off that one outside, one and two. Again, we're into the fourth inning right now, and as you start to flip the lineup over again, you know, they've only gotten two hits, so they're going to have to really evaluate what they should be looking for at the plate, and maybe they need to be a little bit more patient and make them work. Well, that misses the strike zone away to even things at two. Well, that pitch right there, that change up away, if a guy's looking for it, that's a great pitch to be able to hit the other way with some power. You're Big out. swing, misses on the changeup, struck him out, went away. Well, credit the pitcher right there. Good two-strike pitch down and away. Not much he could have done with that, even if he had made contact. And Wagner's batting. He bounced out his last time. Base is empty with one away. First pitch. That's high and away for a strike on one. Sometimes you get a pitch, and if it's early enough in the count, you can just say, not this one, I'm going to wait for the next one. Oh, and he lays off the fastball. Good pitch, 1-1. One one. And he looks at a fastball in there, and it's 1-2 and two now. Tough pitch to hit right here. When you run this fastball up and away, you have to elevate your swing to get on top of it. He ends up taking the pitch. Fastball got him looking two down. I tell you what, with this kind of fastball, you can make a living up in the zone. He runs it up and away. The hitter was thinking something else. Stargell into the batter's box. Base is empty and two down. Now the first pitch. And he watches one that goes inside 1 0 count. One zero on the way. Fastball misses badly. He's behind two and zero. A great movement on that two seam fastball, trying to start it on the corner, running it off the plate. The hitter just laid off. Ball. And he lays off that one. It's inside for ball three. Well, he fooled him right there with that changeup, but give the hitter credit to lay off of that pitch just inside. A smash towards the hole. Sandberg throws on the first in time to retire the side. Good defensive half inning there. No hits allowed. The Cubs still ahead. Number nine spot at the plate again. He's ready to start the home half here in the fourth inning. Here's the first pitch. Fastball in there. 0-1. The location and velocity are critical in throwing the fastball. He runs his good fastball up and away right here, and it's a take pitch. Good palm ball swung on and missed. 0 oh and 2. Ball 
Oh, tough one to lay off right there, that fastball. One and two. The pitch. You're Strike three called on the fastball. One away. A good two-strike fastball in on his hands. He couldn't pull the trigger. And it's Billy Williams. Big time offensive production last game out there. Three RBIs in that one. And I think some real momentum coming into this game. Nobody on base. One away. And Williams settles in. Here's the delivery. Strike Fastball one. swung out and missed. 0 and 1. Here's the pitch. Swung on. That ball hit well. Out there to deep. Left center field. It's off the ivy. And he's in at second with a double. One out. Only one out here in the inning. So a good opportunity here if they can string a couple hits together to make this a very productive inning. One on, one out. Just missed with the fastball, 1-0. Oh. Here it comes. And he looks at a fastball in there, 1-1. One one. Oh, that's a great pitch right there, four-seam fastball. The problem is you lay it right down the middle, you're running the risk he could hit it out of the park. That's taken low for a ball, two and one. Well, he tried to change up right there, but it just stayed down and off the plate. The two-one pitch. Oh, Look out! Oh, that one oh, ran oh, in and got him. A fastball that has to hurt. He gets he gets spun out of first base, but not without taking a bruise for his efforts. And Santos is batting. And with that hit by pitch we saw there, Gary, now two runners on base. And it's got to be in his mind a little bit right now that he's got to be careful, but he can't be afraid to pitch inside. One out with runners at first and second. And here's the first one. The fastball is in there. It's 0-1. And Steve, after hitting that batter, what he's done as a pitcher is He's really set up an entirely different inning here. Well, that's right. It's a real opportunity for the hitter because he knows that maybe the pitcher won't come inside worried about hitting him. Look for something away and drive it. Missed with the fastball outside, and it's even at one. Comes set, now the 1-1. One -one. Good downward movement on that pitch. It's one and two. Can't catch that low outside corner. We're even at two. It's fouled away. And he fouls another one off. Well, anytime you have a 2-2 count, especially anytime with two strikes, you have to protect home plate as a hitter. And that's exactly what it did right there. A pitch borderline strike zone, but he just did enough to foul it off to see another one. The 
the three two pitch. There's that palm ball swung on and missed two away. Almost no movement at all there at 76 miles per hour. Great job of mixing speeds change up there. And it looked like he almost popped his elbow out of place trying to swing at that pitch. Boy, was his timing thrown for a loop. Hanson is the batter now. 0 for 2 thus far. Two men on and two men out. Here's the pitch. Sinker's in there. No balls and a strike. A good sinking movement on that pitch right on the black away from the hitter. Tough pitch to hit. The pitch. Not letting up on that swing, but he missed it. 0 and 2 now. Lined right at the second baseman. Makes its way through for a single. Boy, what a time now to capitalize if they can. Now he has no business swinging at this 0-2 pitch. It's out of the strike zone, but he's thinking, I have to protect. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. And that pitch was really away. I mean, that's, that's a ball. Bases are loaded with two down. The first pitch. Sinker just missed one and all. Well, it's a good spot to miss with that thing just off the corner. At the belt, the 1 0. Hit sharply towards the hole. Yeah. And the throws in time at first. Mercy, what a play. So they pick up two hits in the inning, but leave the bases loaded. And the Pirates, it'll be their turn coming up. Lament gets a shot here. He'll get us started here in the fifth. Here's the first pitch. Starts him out with a fastball for a strike. Well, the hitter must have thought that was either going to go too far out of the zone or too high. He takes the pitch, but it's a strike. On the way. Ball. High for a ball, 1-1. One one. Missed one. with a fastball outside, 2-1. and one. Two one pitch. Strike two. Here's a swing and a miss at the heater. We're even at two. Well, that two seam fastball away is just screaming to be hit on the ground as the hitter opens up. Awfully tough to hit with that kind of movement. Oh. Fastball is low that time. The count runs full. A two-seam fastball is such an effective pitch. One, because it gets ground ball outs, but two, it sets up his other pitches. 3-2 on the way. You're out. Fastball swung out and missed. Struck him out, one away. Big Cam presents the two-seamer. Take a look. Two straight fastballs. He still couldn't catch up with it. Well, the pitcher comes back with a fastball right after he threw one and gets the K. You know he's throwing gas out there. Up again there, D.H., not looking last time. Base is empty, one out. The pitch. Ball First one. pitch, way out of the zone, ball one. On a two-seam fastball down on the way, trying to get the hitter to roll his hands over to get the ground ball. He just laid off, though. The 1-0 now. A line drive towards short. The catch, and he has it for the second out. Six slide up at the plate again. Had a base hit his last time up.
Base is empty with two outs. First pitch on the way. There's a swing. Fly ball down the line and left. And that one is in there. His second hit today. Well, they set down the first two men of this inning, but they couldn't get him out. A big double right there with two outs, and a two-out hit will score a run. Two outs and a runner on second. Here's the pitch. There is a swing and a liner. That one's grabbed. Side retired. So they pick up a hit, but leave a man at second and fail to score. No production yet from the Pirates. And if you just joined our broadcast, great to have you on board. 2K Sports Major League Baseball. I'm Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Crump. And Kendall setting his target. Swing and a hot shot. Whoa, get out of the way of that one. Straight back up the middle. So, with nobody out, he's on board. Well, anytime you get your first hitter up in the inning, big things could happen. It opens up a lot of holes in the defense, and it makes it a lot easier to hit for the guys behind you. Runner on first. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a rocket towards short. That's one out. Decides not to try for the double play. Hangs onto it. And we've got Sandberg batting. And oh, I'll tell you, everybody, Steve, I think notices when he gets to the plate, the attention deficit disorder just sort of goes away. One out man on first. First pitch. First pitch is a sinker. Too low. 1-0. Oh. Uh, he's got that long ball power. They call it light tower power. He hit some bombs, Gary. Here's the pitch. In there at the letters, evening the count. 1-1. One one. A fastball up in the zone like that. A pitch a lot of guys like to hit. He just couldn't swing the bat. Takes a called strike of the letters, and it's one and two. The one two pitch. Pitch out. Nothing doing, though. Popped up. Should be playable behind the plate. Good effort there, but he couldn't get into position to make that play. A smash to first. Over to second for one. And two. They got both of them that time. No runs, one hit, and no one left on base. Cubs four. Pittsburgh nothing. Another chance for the leadoff hitter coming up in the inning. Trainer up now. He's ready to start out here at the sixth inning. First pitch, here it comes. Oh, Fastball misses away. 1-0. Oh. Well, offensively, they just have not been able to get anything going. Only one runner left on base, so they just need more opportunities and see if they can't capitalize on it. Here's the 1-0. Oh. He waves at that fastball. Couldn't get to it. 1-1. One one. The 1-1 one, one pitch. Ball. And that's taken outside for a ball, two, one strike count. Trying to get the ground ball out, you throw that two-seam fastball away from the hitter, trying to get him to reach and roll over it. He laid off of it here. The 2-1 pitch. Swung and a ground ball to third. And his throw gets him one away.
And Kendall's in the box. One out, nobody on. And the first pitch. The fastball is in there. It's 0 and 1. He's painting the black away with that fastball, Gary, hitting the spots and with great velocity. He delivers. Oh, and he lays off the fastball. Good pitch, 1 and 1. On the ground to third, Santo. Out. Out number two. Clark is the batter. 0 for 2 thus far. Two outs and nobody on. And the first pitch. Takes one up and away for strike one. A good four-seam fastball right there. You have to know yourself. He didn't think he could catch up to it. Better off to take it. The pitch. Strike Takes two. something off that time. In control with the count now. 0-2. And this is bounced foul to the left side. Ball. Change up. Thought he had him, but it's one and two. Well, the starting pitcher right now is over 80 pitches, and this is a time when the manager and the pitching coach have to keep an eye and see if his velocity is dropping. If it is, you might want to think about getting him out. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. And the throw pulls him off the bag. He is safe. Well, the pitcher did everything he could right here. He got the ground ball like he wanted. But you see this runner, man, once he left the box, he is flying, and he beats this one out. Runner on first, two away. Well, he's running, taking off for second. And he is safe at second. Swing sits this one pretty well. Deep right center. And that's the third out. That'll do it. So they can't push across any runs. They've been shut out through the first six. We've still got the shutout here at Wrigley. And it rolls around to the top again. He'll lead it off. Home half. We're in the sixth. First pitch on the way. Hit hard on the ground towards third. Over to first for out number one. And it's Billy Williams. One out, base is empty. And Williams settles in. Here's the delivery. Called strike on the outside corner, 0 and 1. Ball. And he watches one miss low and outside, 1 and 1.
That one goes foul. Foul ball! Foul! And he fouls off another one. Well, you're behind in a count one and two. All you want to do is try to stay alive and hope the pitcher makes a mistake. He didn't make a mistake on that pitch, but he got enough wood on it just to foul it off. And in there, he's two for three today. But one out and a man on first base. That big single right there gives him a couple outs to work with to see if they can push him across the board. It's going to be Banks. Hit by a pitch his last time up. He wants to get some hacks in here. One down, runner at first. Hot shot towards the hole. The Cubs in a nice position to capitalize. The infield played it deep like they knew he was going to swing away. He did, but was still able to find the hole. Runners on first and second with one out. Here's the pitch. And he holds off with the pitch low, 1-0. and oh. Wow, he had some good bite on that one right there. But the hitter wouldn't chase it. The 1-0 pitch. The 1-0 delivery is a fastball. Can't make contact, strike one. Spotted by Kendall. Swing and a miss on the sinker. And it's one and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out with a breaking ball. Two down. Just drops that one in there. Good break on it. 83 miles per hour. Well, that's a great curveball right there in a tough situation, but he gets the punch out critical with runners in scoring position. Two down. Runners at first and second. And here's the first one. First pitch a sinker away, 1-0. Here's the 1-0. 1-0 pitch, a sinker, swung on and missed, 1-1. One and one. Looking for the ground ball out, trying to get the hitter to roll over on it. Throws that sinker on the outside corner. Now the 1-1. One, one. Change up just off the black, and it's 2-1. and one. Now the 2-1 pitch. Lays two. off that time, but it's in there. A knee-high strike. He evens things at two. You throw the sinker ball to get the ground ball out. He got the called strike right there. If they swing, he's going to get his share of ground balls. Here it comes. Ball Fastball misses high, and it's full. 3-2. Well, he tried that four-seam fastball up in the zone to get him the chase. Tough pitch to lay off of. Good job by the hitter. Three two on the way Three, and he two. missed ball four that's going to load the bases. Well that's what you want to do. You want to have quality at bats get that pitch count up and I tell you what he worked this pitcher. It's it's going to be tough for him to get this next hitter out after working that walk on so many pitches chance in the box now. Well I think we're seeing some padding here although in this game there's no such thing as insurance rooms really. You've got the pitcher on the rope you have to take advantage of it while he's down. Two outs, bases loaded. First pitch to him. Ball. Sinker misses badly, 1-0. Oh. Ready with a 1-0. Oh. This is hit way up there. It'll be in the infield. 
that's the third out. That'll do it. Well, they do load the bases on two hits, but can't push across any runs. And the Pirates, it'll be their turn coming up. Stargell into the batter's box. He'll start things off here in the summit. He deals. He swings and nails a liner. And that's in. Left field. Base hit. Well, a nice piece of hitting right there. You get on base to start the inning with no outs. And you know, all it does is you want to just keep the line moving if you're the guys behind him. No one out and a runner on first. Now the first pitch. First pitch, a fastball. That's in there for a strike. Well, what an outstanding effort uh, by the pitcher today. I mean, he has just been on top of his game, making the pitches. And offensively, they just have not been able to back hits up with other hits to mount the rally. Right They've been held scoreless here today. The pitch. Catcher gets a hold of that one in the dirt. Inside for a ball. We're even at two. Well, he starts that two-seam fastball in the inside corner, but it just runs in on the hands just off the plate. Got him. Out number one here in the seventh inning. And you know he's looking ahead and feeling pretty good about it. And with good reason. He hasn't given up a run yet, and he's got to be gaining confidence. Number two spot in the lineup up again. 0 for 2 thus far. One out. Runner on at first. And the first pitch. And he lays off one low, one and oh. Pauses and now the one oh. One oh delivery is a fastball in there, one and one. A good life on this fastball as he just buries it down and away. Lined up the middle, and he grabs this one. One, and there's two, a double play. Now, Gary's in absolute control out there right now. And I have to suspect they're going to leave him in as long as he can go, as long as the pitch count doesn't get too high. Cubs holding on to the lead. It's Sosa at the plate. He homered back in the third. Here's the first pitch. And that's too low, 1 0. Now the 1 0 pitch. Curveball, that'll miss the zone, and the count will go to 2 0. Changeup is waved at it, missed that time. Two and one. Here he comes. Two one pitch. Takes a swing at that fastball, but doesn't make contact, and it goes even at two. Here's the pitch. Ball. Tough pitch to lay off that time. Full count, 3-2. Well, that's just some good old country hardball right there. Forcing fastball up in the zone. The 3-2 pitch. You're up. Swing and a miss on the sinker. One away. Let's take a look at the sinker. Looks good in the K-cam. Well, sometimes you get fooled so badly, there's just nothing else you can do but hope and pray that you put the ball in play, hopefully foul, to get another pitch to hit. It's going to be Wilson now. 
lined out last time up. One out, nobody on. The first pitch. Really lets it rip on that one, but starts off with a strike. Here's the delivery. Ball! Outside for a ball, one and one. There's a swing and a smash. Play is made. And we've got Sandberg batting. 0 for 2 thus far. Base is empty and two down. And the first pitch. Third ball just misses one and all. One oh on the way. Here's a swing. That's a broken bat fly ball. And that's a base hit. Gets down in front of him. Well, anytime you can get a guy on base who can steal bases, it puts so much pressure on the opponent. Let's see if they can get him around to score a run. Clean up man in the box again. Grounded out his last time through. Two outs and a man on first. And the first pitch. Ball. Too low on that one for a ball. 1-0. The 1-0 pitch. Oh, my. That one came inside and plucked him. I think it's safe to say, Gary, that's going to leave a mark. That hurts from up here. And it's Billy Williams. And with that hit by pitch we saw there, Jerry, now two runners on base. And it's got to be in his mind a little bit right now that he's got to be careful, but he can't be afraid to pitch inside. Two men on and two men out. Here's a spin and a throw back to second. And Williams settles in. Here's the delivery. And that catches the outer part of the plate for a strike. And Steve, after hitting that batter, what he's done as a pitcher is, is really set up an entirely different inning here. Well, that's right. It's a real opportunity for the hitter because he knows that maybe the pitcher won't come inside worried about hitting him. Look for something away and drive it. Here's the delivery. Now swing and a shot towards second. Throws to first side is retired. They pick up no runs on a hit, and they leave 2-1. Cubs four. Pittsburgh nothing. New up six, seven, eight in the lineup. And if you're just joining our 2K Sports Major League Baseball broadcast with John Crook and Steve Phillips, I'm Gary Thorne. And here's the pitch. Low for ball one. Look here, listen, he's he's made pitches. He's at they've had a few base runners on against them. No question about it. They've got a few hits. But he's, not, he's been able to keep him from putting hit after hit after hit together. He's kept him off the scoreboard and let his defense do the work. And misses below the knees. Ball two. Well, anytime you have a good fastball and you can keep it down in the zone, around the knees or lower, it's great location and, believe me, very difficult to hit. Hit in the air to center field. And in there, three for three ball game. Well, you're talking about a guy who's swinging a pretty hot bat right now. His third hit of this ball game, and it comes with nobody out in the inning. And the number seven batter in the box. 0 for 2 thus far. A runner on first, no outs. Pitch on the way. Fastball inside. He had to do a little dancing on that one. 
Well, he knew exactly what he was doing, throwing it that far in on the plate, backing the hitter off. Now he's set up to go away again. Ready with a 1-0. 1-0 oh. is a fastball that runs away to an 0. Line drive. That's foul oh. towards first. Lays off the fastball low for ball three. Well, anytime you have a count three and one in your favor as the hitter, you're looking for a pitch in a little box in the location you want to. If he throws it in there, you better be ready and get a good hack at it. He set the three one. Smashes that one towards the shortstop. That one gets through for a base hit. This a great situation for some offense. Runners at first and second. Nobody out. And here's the first one. First pitch is high and inside, 1-0. Oh. Well, if he's going to make a mistake, which he hasn't made many in this game, it's going to be now. His pitch count's over 100. This is when he seems to tire and make mistakes with his pitches. Here's the pitch. He watches that fastball. It'll leave it up to count at 1-1. The pitcher really rearing back and throwing. He's got everything working now, commanding the strike zone with that fastball. And that's on the other half for a strike, one and two. Sometimes you get a pitch, and if it's early enough in the count, you can just say, not this one, I'm going to wait for the next one. Line drive fouled off towards first. One two pitch coming. Hit hard to second. Now, Pittsburgh, here's a fantastic chance. This might be the end of the line for him now. Three straight hits. He looks exhausted out there right now. And Kendall's in the box. Bases are loaded and nobody out. Here's the first pitch. The 0-0 delivery of fastball taken for a strike. And here's the pitch. Gets in front, stopped it, it's in the dirt. Hit in the air to left center. That one gets through. Kendall brings him in. Now two runs are in. Well, anytime you're a hitter in a ball game and they bring in a relief pitcher to come in and face you, you know the last thing he wants to do is get behind the count. So you got to be aggressive. He's going to try to come in and throw strikes. Grab that bat and let it fly early. And that's what he did here to get this hit to narrow the gap. Clark up now. All important production at this point in the ball game. Cut that deficit, keep pushing, that's what they're after. Well, they're narrowing the lead late here in the game, Gary, and they're showing some fight left in those bats. No one out yet, runners at first and second. Here it comes. 
Runs up to bunt that time, but he missed it. It's a strike. And what you hope when you get a hit like that is that maybe you've got momentum starting to come your way because the game's not over. Well, you know what? They've got momentum going their way, and if they could just find a hole somewhere. And he tries to get one down. It's scooped up. And there's one. But he'll hang on to that, so they will get one. Well, that's some bunt right there. Moving up the base runners. Good execution, Gary. That puts a couple in position to come across the plate. You talk about getting something done that matters. That's the case right there. Now they're looking for the big hit. Runners at second and third. Only one away. First pitch, ball. fastball too low, 1-0. Oh. Wide fastball right there, just missed, just below the knees. Tell you what, a borderline pitch, I think they wanted that one bad. And he's breaking for the plate. And he lays one down here. Santo, and he's in there. What a daring steal of home plate. You will not see that very often. And they bring him home. Let's see what the RBI means for the win expectancy. If you like baseball, you gotta love a situation like this. Well, they needed a little extra speed out there to cover the bases, potentially steal a base. Let's see if this added speed pays off. They're gonna have to keep close tabs on that runner at second base. The pitcher's gonna have to make him stop in his lead. If he gets smash towards the hole, Sandberg, and he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. They pick up four hits in the inning and three runs across the plate. The Pirates are showing determination. They've cut that lead down. Leadoff batter will get a shot at it later on in this inning. of you catching up with us. Hi, I'm Gary Thorne along with John Crook and Steve Phillips bringing you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. Here's the first pitch. Strike one! Here's the pitch. Swings, lines this one back up the middle. And he throws on to first for the out, put away. And Santos is batting. Struck out swinging last time. Base is empty with one away. The pitch. Swung on and ripped towards second. Throws the first. He's retired. That's two down. Anson settles in. Drew a walk as last time. Two outs. Space is empty. First pitch on the way. Cut on and missed, and it's on one. Here's the pitch. Swung on a fly ball down the left field line. And he gets that one down. His second hit, two for four today. Well, sometimes you don't think much of a two-out hit, but if they can continue to capitalize and push another run across, they can extend their slim lead. Two outs and a man on first. Oh, he takes off for second. Right one. And he's in there at second base.
And that's in the dirt for a ball. Good downward action on that sinker. One and two. The one two on its way. Swung on and that's foul back. Foul. Change up swung on and missed. That will retire the side. They pick up no runs on one hit and leave a man at second. And the Pirates, it'll be their turn coming up. But Gary, this is where the legends of the game make their marks. It is the last inning. Pitchers staring in in a very tight situation. But Gary, both these guys clearly record. Drill towards the hole. Hanson. He's out at first base. Nice play on the cover. Uh, that's a well-executed play right there, Gary. He hustled over, got the first base, and touched the bag. Thought he might have had a strike out there, but he's involved in the out anyway. Went out here in the ninth inning and uh, obviously in a situation where you're looking for outs. And you, you can't allow somebody to score, but if you can get an out, do what you need to to get it. One out, nobody on. And here's the first one. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. The pitch. One and that one. misses downstairs for a ball. One and one. That's a good pitch there. Tried to get him to chase it out of the zone. He just laid off. Here's the one one pitch. Line drive. That's foul towards first. That's ball just about had him, and it's a 2 2 count. On the way. Line shot into center field. And that's going to be a base hit. Tying run is on. Well, this guy's always a threat to go. He steals a lot of bases, so they're going to have to keep a close eye on him, and maybe they'll make a mistake to the hitter paying attention to the runner. Runner at first with one down. First pitch, here it comes. Oh, Fastball taken high, 1-0. A 1 0 now. Ball. Low for a ball, 2 0. He deals. Fastball just misses. He runs it to 3 0. Well, you can see what he's doing. He's just pulling that ball away from him, trying to overthrow it, and he can't seem to find the strike zone. He has to be able to rein that thing in right now. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. That's the second out. And the number eight spot rolls around. Base hit is last time. Runner on first, two away. First pitch on the way. Liner towards the hole. And he's on. That's the go-ahead run. Well, he tried to work him up the ladder right there. And that, that one was right at the letters. Took a good hack at it, though. And that's why he's on base. Two down. Runners at first and second. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a line drive. 
That's the last out. This ball game is now over. Now, Gary, the Cubs played a solid all-around ball game today to come up with a victory, and they've got to be feeling pretty good about themselves. Yeah, we like to recognize outstanding performances in our game, so let's do it right now with our Player of the Game award. Yeah, I mean, this guy came out and made this team look like world beaters today. A couple of hits, and he went big fly. All in all, it adds up to a nice day's work, and they come away on top. And Steve, that ought to send these folks home now. Well, no question about it. They get the win in a close game. A lot of excitement and enthusiasm and ready for the next one. This is Gary Thorne with John Cruck and Steve Phillips. Hope you had a great time. As good as we did, then you're all set. See you next time.